Hey, what's up, guys? In this video, we're going to talk about CSS navigation bar. So, the navigation bar is very important part of any website. So, there are basically two types of navigation bar. We can have the vertical navigation bar, and also we can have the horizontal navigation bar. Now, to create the navigation bar, we need the list item. So, inside the unordered list, we're gonna create the list item, and inside each list item we're gonna have the anchor tag which will contain the link to the target page like an example we can have the list item for home and also for about page and also we can have the link for the contact page now we're gonna create one navigation bar using the list item so inside the style tag first of all we're gonna select the another list so now to create one navigation bar we need to remove the bullet points and also the margin and padding from the list item so we're gonna set list style type to none to remove the bullet point and also we're gonna remove the default margin and also we're gonna remove the default padding and now we're gonna set some width to our another list like 200 pixel and also we're gonna set the background color to gray and now we're gonna select the anchor tag and we're gonna display them as block element and also we're gonna set the color to black and we're gonna set the padding so we're gonna set the padding top and bottom of 8 pixel and padding left and right to 16 pixel and also we're gonna remove the underline so we're gonna set the text decoration to none and now whenever we hover our mouse over the anchor tag then we want the background color to be green and also we want the text color to be white so you can see we have the vertical navigation bar and whenever we put our mouse over the anchor tag the background color changes to green and the font color changes to white and also we can create one full height vertical navigation bar for that we're gonna set the width of the vertical navigation bar to 25% and we're gonna set the height to 100% and also we're gonna use the position fixed property to fix the element in the left side of the window and also we're gonna use the overflow auto property so that if the content overflows then it will automatically add one scroll bar so you can see whenever there is more content then it will automatically add one scroll bar so this is the way we can create one vertical navigation bar so now we're gonna see how we can create one horizontal navigation bar so there is two way we can create one horizontal navigation bar either we can use the display as inline to display the elements side by side and also we can use the float property so we can use the float left or float right property and we can display the list item side by side as a navigation bar so first of all inside the unordered list we're gonna set the overflow to hidden because we do not want any kind of scroll bar in our horizontal navigation bar and also we're gonna set the background color to gray and now we're gonna select the anchor tag and we're gonna display the anchor tag as block element and also we're gonna set the color to black and also we're gonna set the padding so we're gonna have the padding of 10 pixel around the anchor tag and also we're gonna remove the underline so we're gonna write text decoration to none and now we're gonna set the hover property so whenever we put our mouse over the anchor tag then we want the background color to be green and we want the text color to be white so you can see whenever we put our mouse over the anchor tag the background color changes to green and the font color changes to white so this way we can create one horizontal navigation bar and also we can create 
the border divider so inside the list item we can use the border right property and we can set one border solid white so you can see we have the border divider in between the horizontal menu and also we can fix our horizontal menu bar for that we have to use the position fixed and we are going to set the width to 100% and also we are going to use the top zero property to fix our menu bar in the top of the browser and also we can use the bottom zero to fix the horizontal menu in the bottom of the browser and also we can use the position sticky by doing that the element will toggle between the relative and the fixed position so we have to set one offset like top zero so whenever our horizontal menu reaches to the offset of top zero then it will behave like one fixed element and it will fix in the top of the browser so this is the way we can use the list item and we can create the vertical and the horizontal navigation bar so hope you understand the concept we'll see you in the next one thank you